G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. Hope you're ready for another St. Patrick's Day cocktail. One to kind of round out the evening because this is a dessert style cocktail. This is also going to fit into the hashtag Drunken Shamrock 2021 challenge. Uh, Vino from 60 Second Cocktails, Dave from uh, Booze on the Rocks and Rob from Rob's Home Bar have been setting these challenges for the last couple months. This one's pretty straightforward uh, with St. Patrick's Day month. Make it green, make it Irish themes, put it up this month. And I'm going to do, I'm, I'm christening this an emerald mudslide because you're probably all familiar with uh, cocktails called a mudslide or a mud shake or whatever. It's usually just a, a chocolatey, creamy liqueur and whatever booze you want to throw in it. Vodka is common. Uh, and uh, it's normally, so Bailey's is often used in mudslides. I happen to have this uh, a white chocolate Irish cream liqueur uh, called Cool Swan. This is, have I mentioned before? I have a weakness for cream liqueurs. I have a few white cream liqueurs and uh, this being for both the Drunken Shamrock Challenge and St. Patrick's Day, this one is an Irish whiskey based cream liqueur. So I shall be using this. It's a mere 16% alcohol by volume. So I think we'll throw something in to beef it up and we're also gonna make it green. So let's get going. I'm gonna make a shamrock mudslide. Let's get going with our cream liqueur, the star of the show. Look, some recipes say use some cream liqueur and some cream or half and half as Americans call it, whatever. I'm just going with cream liqueur. This is gonna be the star of the show for me. So I'm going to do two ounces or 60 mils of cream liqueur. Little tip, if you're making something like a mudslide, do the cream liqueur first, because it's going to be thicker than other things you add, and then you add some other things, they can wash out your jigger to get more of your cream liqueur in there. Yeah, a little, little pro tip for you there. So I'm gonna beef this up. Like I said, often vodka is used to beef up a creamy drink like this. Uh, because we're doing St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to use Pachin again. I used Pachin on a cocktail earlier in the week. Uh, this is some Pachin that I actually steeped some lemon peel in. So it's picked up some color and flavor, and a little bit of the uh, viscosity from the lemon oils as well. So a very nice little thing. So this is like lemon Pachin. But yeah, it, like I said, vodka, white rum, whatever you want to beef it up a bit if you feel like beefing it up, completely optional. But I'm going to put a one ounce or 30 mils of pachin into my drink. Final touch, we want it to be green. And it's just thing, you've got to make the decision, what will I use to make it green? And the two biggies, as I mentioned in the previous video, are creme de menthe and Midori, a melon liqueur. Uh, I thought this one, it's a chocolatey, desserty one, mint would be good. So I'm gonna do creme de menthe. For me, a little creme de menthe goes a long way. If you're really into mint, you like to do more. I'm only going to do half an ounce, 15 mils. If you're a real fan of it, by all means, put more, put a whole ounce, 30 mils in. But for me, I'm going to go 15 mils, half an ounce of creme de menthe. We're going to shake this to make sure it's thoroughly incorporated. So add a bunch of ice, put your shaker together, bang it in hard, as the actress said to the bishop, and give it a really good solid shake for 10 or 15 minutes to make sure that cream liqueur hasn't uh, gone and separated on you. So let's go. How you serve this is completely up to you. I think you could just do a, a dirty dump with all the ice into a tall glass if you wanted. I'm going to use a thorn strain. I'm not gonna bother with fine straining even though we will end up with some little ice chips in here. I'm fine with it in this case. I'm gonna do it in this coupe glass. Literally, the world's your oyster. You can serve this up however you want. But we have our lovely emerald green milkshake looking concoction. Look, if you wanted to do a garnish, you can do whatever you want. Some chocolate shavings, some chocolate powder, grate some nutmeg on it. I mean, go to town if you really want. Put a, a hell of a lot of chocolate on it. I'm going to have it au naturel, but you do you. Um, let's see how this has worked. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just right for me. Like I said, the, the degree of how much creme de menthe you put in is down to your personal taste. Uh, for me, a little goes a long way. I only put the 15 mils in. If you are a big fan of that mint flavor, by all means, put more in. 
And of course, in Port Wayne Evergreen, I, I was thinking, yeah, this might work with Midori, and that would be a fruity, creamy cocktail. Maybe even put a little blue curacao, and uh, there'd probably be a blue green, but it still would be good. Um, hell, if you're wild and crazy, put a bit of green absinthe in there, and that's a whole different kettle of fish. The thing is, I think if you're going to do green St. Patrick's Day drinks, it should be about fun rather than being a slave to any particular recipe or listening to someone say, no, no, it has to be this, it has to be this. Man, you could even uh, avoid the creme de menthe, Midori thing altogether. Just put green food coloring in, It's have fun. What's wrong with green food coloring apart from after you have six green beers and you forget that they've been green and you go to take a piss and your piss is bright green and it freaks you out because you're drunk and you think you're dying. Um, but that's St. Patrick's Day. Is it a St. Patrick's Day if at some point you don't think you're dying? I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I've been having fun. Uh, uh, I have been making a few test drinks before I shoot this, so I'm in good spirits as the saying goes. But uh, the luck of the Irish be with you, slonche, as uh, we say in uh, the Emerald Isle. Um, I am going to enjoy this Emerald Mudslide. I do recommend it to you. It's really good. Um, yeah, I'm not saying again, if you missed it, the particular cream liqueur I have is this one. Uh, I don't know how widely available it is. It is from Ireland. It's called Cool Swan. I got it in Australia, so it's bound to be available in other places. But use the one you like, whether it's Bailey's, uh, whether it's another boutique one, whatever you find. Uh, like I said, this is about having fun, not being a slave to a particular recipe, uh, because that's what I like to do, have fun. And I hope you had fun watching this, uh, and come back and see some more. So if you're not already, subscribe, it would be great if you did subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos, because I upload at least two or three videos most weeks, and it's, I'd love to have you on board with a little journey exploring the world of cocktails, because there is so much to explore, uh, I'm going to amuse myself for a little while exploring this Emerald Muds mudslide. And yes, if you follow the hashtag uh, Drunken Shamrock 2021, you will find a lot of recipe ideas from some really good YouTube channels. I thoroughly recommend you check them out and subscribe to them as well. But in the meantime, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you look after yourself, look after people around you, and I hope to see you again soon. Until then, Cheers.